Good evening, everyone. Late Night Mega here, and tonight we're going to do an Innistrad Midnight Hunt premiere draft. So, Wizards is putting uh, premiere drafts of, like, all the other standard sets uh, that are going to survive rotation uh, out for a premiere draft for, like, a week. And since I don't have any Midnight Hunt content on the channel, I thought I would go ahead and do some and collect more of this set. I have done some Midnight Hunt drafts uh, before. That was before I started uh, recording them for the channel. But since it's only available for a week, I don't know how many drafts I'm going to be able to get done in that time, uh, given my full-time job and, and other things that I have going on in the week. I also don't know when this is going to get uploaded, so if you see the... It, it's going to be uploaded, like, well after the this premiere draft goes away again. Uh, because I'm... As of the recording of this, I'm still uploading some of the... Uh, Streets of New Capenna drafts. And then I'll have some catching up to do on the Baldur's Gate drafts and whatnot. Eventually, the uploading is going to catch up to the, the number of drafts I'm doing. And I'm still uploading or, or transferring videos from the main channel back over here. That would be like the Crimson Vow series, so I've still got that going on. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the Crimson Vow stuff is not new, but uh, this is going to be new. So let's go ahead and hop in here. Yeah, I think it's a neat idea to offer these other premiere drafts as well. Uh, as a way to help build people's standard collection, especially for the rotation. Uh, so all the sets that we're going to be able to premiere draft are not going to be rotating in the fall. Uh, so that means I'm also going to try and do some Kamigawa Nia Dynasty uh, drafts as well when, when that week pops up. And if I don't do, I mean, I could all also supplement this with some quick drafts when quick drafts pop up for that. I'm not the biggest fan of the quick draft. I would prefer the premiere draft. I'm just drafting against humans rather than bots. All right, let's see what we get here. We get a uh, green black rares. That's a good one. Create X 2 T black zombie creature tokens with decayed, where X is half the number of creature cards in your graveyard rounded up. I don't think it's particularly good. I have one of them. What do I even want? Hungry for more. 3 1 black red vampire. That card can be kind of aggressive. This card. That card can be decent. Fading Hope. Could also just grab an Eaten Alive. That's probably a pretty safe pick. In this in this format, I know like blue and black are considered the best colors. Blue white is can is a really good color combination as well. But basically, if you can be blue or be black, uh, this is a pretty decent. Two trap. Although I, I will admit I've underrated this card in the past, but uh, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, eaten alive, just a solid black removal spell. We'll go ahead and take that. I know I've got four of those. I have four of those. I don't need to take that. That would just be twenty gems at this point. Blood tithe collector enters the battlefield if an opponent lost life this turn. Each opponent loses or discards a card. That's not bad. We have an organ hoarder here. Which is just plain card advantage. Another card that I underestimated a bit. The Collector. The Collector feels okay. But if you can't deal damage to your opponent, then this is just a 5 mana 3 4 flyer, which isn't as impressive. Whereas this is always going to give us card advantage. So we're going to go ahead and take that. 
Rotten Reunion, I do like to pick up one of those for my uh, black decks in this format. Okay, this can't block. When it dies, return it transformed. At the beginning of your upkeep, Enchanted Permanence Controller sacrifices a non-land permanent, then that player loses one life. Oh, okay. So that can be kind of a... It's a creature on turn two, and it can be a weird little kill spell a little bit later. A Moon Ranger Slash here, which is definitely a kill spell, but uh, no reason to deviate from black right now, I don't think. Oh, these morning patrols, these are good too. Three mana for a 2-3 with Vigilance, and then... Disturb. So the way Disturb works in this uh, set. Oh, another Hungry for more. Uh, the way Disturb works in this set is that um, all the Disturb cards become spirits with, with flying. I don't think I'm playing... I could play this. 3-6 is kind of a tough body. Hey, it's Poison the Blade, but in black. Uh, I don't think we need that either, though that's not... That wouldn't be horrible. I'm going to take the uh, big blue chonker here. That's for Disturb or Instants and Sorceries. I'm just going to take the... Uh, I'm going to take him. Novice Occultist, another theme that Blue Black likes to do is like sacrifice their own creatures for value. So these Occultists are kind of okay. So I think it's it's either going to be between that or maybe the Fading Hope. I'm going to go with the Fading Hope, actually. We can probably get more of these later. I don't think this is a super premium 2-drop. I don't know. I could also just be, you know, talking out whatever. Okay, no cards in our colors here other than this rare that's probably not going to get played. But we do have... Like, this is a decent green card. I know you generally don't want to be green... But if you are going to be green, you know, this would be one of the cards to, to do it for. 5 mana, 6, 5 with Ward 1. That's awesome on, on that side. And then it flips into an 8, 7, Ward 3. I'll pick it. We'll speculate on the green. I could also take a Neonate's Rush. Well, now I can't. It's too late. Oh, but now I can. Oh, wait, that's not Neonate's Rush. That's Stolen Vital. That's another card. Alright, I could speculate on the Brute Coil Creeper as well. And returns cards with Flashback and Exile back to our hand, which we don't have any of those yet. Bat Whisperer. Again, it's another card that, that can be okay, but I'm, I'm going to spec on the... Uh, Blue green, I think. Dress, I don't think we need. Immolation can be okay. That can be okay. Cathars are okay. Defend the Celestis, what does this do? Distribute three plus and plus one counters. Yuck. Might of the old ways. None of this is super appealing to me. I guess I'll take this because it can be a kill spell. And we get our original pack back with the rare back. And at this point, I think I'm going to take the rare. Oh, but there's a neonate rush in here. I'll take the rare. Okay, pack's betrayal. That's just a threaten. Tireless hauler. 4-5 Vigilance. Vigilance is, is kind of nice because it can attack and defend. On the back side, it's a 6-6. Six, six. It's another kind of big, chonky creature. I could be game with that. 
artifact card or so for three mana you get a basic land that goes to your hand yeah, I'll take the revival this can be a semi graveyard hate card if we need to fill our curve or something Exile target spirit, creature with disturb, or enchantment. I'll take the Snarling Wolf. We're not going to try to play it, but it, it could be okay. Sludge Monster. This is a good blue creature. So, enters the battlefield or attacks, put a slime counter on up to one other target creature. Non-horror creatures lose all abilities uh, with slime counters. Lose all abilities and have base power and toughness 2-2. Two, two. We are taking that for sure. Uh, other cards in this pack, we have another Vengeful Strangler. It doesn't seem like black is really open. We've got the two black cards. We might be getting more black cards this way. Uh, but I'd say we're definitely blue, and we're kind of invested in green. We'd like this Rise of the Ants as well. Bird Admirers, 1-4 with Reach. It can stop us from dying to Flyers. It's okay. It's not the most exciting thing ever. Oh, we have Cathartic Pyre in here. Three. There's like a lot of removal in this set at the uh, common and uncommon levels. I do remember that. Another Hungry for More. Oh, these guys. These guys are pretty neat. I like them. Uh, but I don't know that I want to start picking black cards. Given our blue and green picks. Because I think we might be getting some blue or some green picks through here. We have this. We're not in white. We'll, we'll take an angler. We'll take an angler. That's a card that I've underrated in the past. Brood Weaver. Oh, when it dies, we get another one, too. And we also have Falcon Abomination. That's also considered a good card. As is the Gale Drifter. And Locked in the Cemetery. And Silver Bolt, there's a lot of stuff in here we could be using. I'll go with the Falcon Abomination. Ooh, Neville Gast Intruder. That's a good card. It's almost a removal spell. Shadow Beast Sighting, also a good card. Also a good card. Yeah, our colors are way open in this direction. Uh, so the Nebel Gast has Flash when it ETBs. Uh, you get to minus two, minus O a creature. So it can usually kill some creatures uh, or a creature when it enters. Revenge of the Drowned. That's pretty good. What is this? When it dies, mill three cards. Then it turns into a five mana. You shuffle three cards from your graveyard into your library. That doesn't seem bad either. We are lacking removal. We are still kind of light on the two drops. And what did I get? I don't know what I got in that pack. Beta Gangler, I had that, I had that, I had that. Oh, I got the Revenge in there. Okay, fine. I got Revenge. Uh, the Farmer's okay. Shady Traveler is also okay. Vampire. Ah, the time. The time. So there's another Shadow Beast sighting. Or another Angler. I don't know which one I want to take more. I guess I'm going to take the Shadow Beast sighting. We kind of have a lot of stuff at the 4 and 5. Man, I'm going to take the Beethoven Angler. Don't want to be too light on the uh, 2 drops. Cost one less to cast for each creature that died. This returns a creature and it has flashback. Could also flip the switch. 
could also get sifters. And maybe we could... I'm gonna grab the wolf. We could, we could play that wolf. It has death touch. This was our starting pick. Or pack. We don't have a lot of disturb, so I don't know how much I want the sifters. I'll take the bird admirer, though. Not dying to flying creatures is kind of important. Tapping on the window. Look at the top three cards. Maybe reveal a creature and put it into your hand. That's kind of risky. I don't know. I'll just grab this. Brimstone Vandal. I, I remember liking those guys. Like when it flips from day to night, like you can get more. Yeah, hey, we'll just. Oh, we'll rare draft that. Sure. I don't even know how many copies of that I have. Uh, Return to Nature could be usable. Flash Wolf, I'm not super excited about, but we could play it. Moon Silver Key. Not, ooh. Other tapped creatures you control have Death Touch. Other untapped creatures you control have Hexproof. Untap another target creature or land you control. Yes, please. How many of you do I have? None. I've collected all of none of you. So, Sarah the Viper's Fang. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty decent rare. There's some. There's a lot of good cards in this pack. Organ Hoarder. Defense Trade. Ecstatic Awakener, I remember, is really good. I think in the design of these limited sets, I think this is the set where... One drop started becoming uh, usable a little here. Okay. Yep, we'll play that. It's also a mythic. I have two of them already. Uh, Timberland Guide could be nice, but not in place of this. We're going to start looking for... Uh, I know there's some fight spells in green. we got to start looking for those. Stuff can't be countered, so I guess flip the switch doesn't really go well with that. Um, the Mana Fixer? Or Phantom Carriage? Search your library for a card with Flashback or Disturb and put it into the graveyard? It's also Larder Zombie. I don't know if I want to play Larder Zombie. Yeah, we'll just we'll just grab the uh, carriage. There's another rare. Uh, but I don't think that's going to be the pick. I think Dawnheart Rejuvenator here gains us some life, fixes and accelerates us because we've got kind of a lot of bigger stuff here. Uh, otherwise, the Shipwreck Sifters would be better in blue-white, but we're not blue-white. Okay, we need some removal. There's Plummet. So that way we don't die in the uh, air. We've got, we've got plenty of red removal. Uh, locked in the Cemetery. Enters the battlefield if there are five or more cards in your graveyard. Tap and chant creature, and it doesn't untap. Good enough. Trample enters the battlefield with a plus and plus one counter on it for each creature that died this turn. If we didn't already have like a really awesome setup deck, I'd say we could splash that. But am I playing? There's no way I'm playing two of those. I'll grab the Grizzly Ghoul. Probably not going to use it. Rotten Reunion isn't a bad card to hate on graveyards. I don't think we're playing any of these. Uh, I don't have four of you, so you can come. We're not seeing any of the green removal. That's, that's a problem.
I don't like otherworldly games. I guess we'll take a Defend the Celestus. I don't know if we're going to play that either. Path to the Festival. Yeah, this is, this is good for splashing and ramping. We've got some big stuff too, so that can be helpful. A Timberland Guide came back. Or I can also play the 3-1. There's a lot of things that can kill one toughness thing. I'm going to take the Timberland Guide. I don't know if that's really better. Mystic Skull. Out of these cards, sure. We'll have a few cuts to make. Uh, there's no way I'm playing multiple Snarling Wolves. Uh, I need a fourth one of these. I'll grab a Plummet. And we got another Bounty. Yeah, people don't really want to be green, red werewolves in this set. Okay, so our problem is going to be our lack of removal. For sure. How many instants and sorceries do I even have? Four instants and two sorceries? What, what are they? I don't think we need to splash black. Although we could with Eaten Alive. I'd be splashing black for Eaten Alive. Maybe the Harvest. Half the number of creature cards in your graveyard. That seems like it could be worth splashing. And maybe even the Grizzly Ghoul. We could totally do a black splash here, but let's let's cut this down a bit. Alright, let's do what we normally do and split up our creatures and non-creatures. Okay, so that's a sorcery. That's a sorcery. Okay, we have Revenge of the Drowned. Defend the Celestis. I don't know that Return to Nature is quite impactful enough. I mean, there are some, like, locked in the cemetery type of things. But I can... I have Bounce. Get this. Okay, I can just click it. Oh, that's an instant. Okay, so that can be a combat trick. I thought that was just a uh, sorcery. Okay, so that, that makes it a little bit better. Dryad's Revival. Okay. Maybe... Take that out. We're a little light on... Uh, we've only got five two-drops. A little bit light there. And we might have to play a Bounding Wolf. Or I could play a Snarling Wolf. Do I want to Bound or do I want to Snarl? Uh, we also have kind of a lot of top end. Do I need a 3-6 unblockable? I don't think I need a 3-6 unblockable when I've got a lot of, like, this big chunky stuff here. And Phantom Carriage. We don't have a lot of Disturb cards. So this is really just a 6-mana 4-4 four, four flyer. Which might not be awful. Did we not get... We didn't get a Shadow Beast sighting. That makes me sad. Okay, now we could look at a Black Splash. And that would be for Ghoul Caller's Harvest, which might not be worth splashing. Grizzly Ghoul. So, like, if two creatures died, and we have the, well, we have one fixer, the path to the festival. So, 
So I don't I don't know if we want to do about black splash. Like we could use the removal. That's going to put And then I'd still have to cut something else. How many creatures are in the deck? 17 and 6. Seems reasonable. There's a number of things with flying, but if there aren't things with flying, we don't really want the plummet. Alright, let's try this. We're going to go. Oh, wait, we got a. What rare do we want as our all star? You. Miss Viper Fang. And hopefully this deck is not a huge train wreck. We're up against the Riku. A mythic rank player right off the bat. Yeah, that's where I want to be. Mythic rank player, and we're going to be playing about a wolf against him. Yeah, I see where this is going. We have Fading Hope that can be a nice trick. And we have a turn for Seraph. We have our, we have our uh, Viper Fang here. Oh, there's a nice locked in the cemetery. And they're playing blue-black. Uh, no need to cast this yet. Falcon Abomination. Sure it is. I have a wolf. I mean, I kind of want to play this, but it'll just run right into a removal spell. Next turn, I can play this with this open. I'm going to attack anyways. If they want to trade, that's fine. It's a three drop for a three drop. Okay, they don't want to trade. Also fine. It's only other untapped. Whatever. We'll play it. It's big, it's nasty. You probably have removal for it. Yeah. It took two damage for that, though. Not swinging with the zombie, okay. I could lock that in the cemetery, but I don't feel that's necessary. Let's go attacking here. Larder Zombie, just a 1-3 defender. Th this card, it doesn't look very good. But the thing can put in some... It, it can serve an interesting function. Oh, there's a... Uh, Hoblin Zombie. kind of want the Scry here. They're already at 12. And that thing has Death Touch, so yeah, let's just... I want to not flood out here. Oh, that's a good card. That is very much a good card. We have, uh, we have Fading Hope back online again. Uh, let's go attacking. And there's our Mythic Rare. Alright, Hobbling Zombie is back again. Good for it.
Uh, they could have a kill spell. Yeah, hold on to this. Ooh, Revenge of the Drowned. I do like that. I also like that we can cast it twice. We're gonna use it on that. Uh, they can't really kill this offhand. They want to make okay. They want to make that trade. That's cool. That's fine. They want to throw away the larger zombie. Also fine. Okay, they're gonna do the mill thing. And yeah, this is good. Could make it so that zombie doesn't. That's not worth it. Not worth it. We have fading hope we can protect. And protect our Lear. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Get it back. And Infernal Grad. Okay, fine. They had to use a lot of cards to do that. Unfortunately. I don't have much else going on. There's nothing else I can really do with these decayed tokens, so go ahead and use that up. Put our opponent down to five. And we need we need our organ hoarder. Where's ours? Five or more cards in my graveyard. I have four. Oh, they also got that thing. Oh, the Celestis. That's going to gain them life. Oh, that's not good. That's going to gain them life if I don't cast anything, but I also don't... Yeah, they're, they're turning the corner now. Did they just discard an organ? What else is in their hand that they discarded that? Well, these card sleeves are cool. I want that card sleeve. Give three target cards back into his deck. Okay. I need... We have 17 creatures. We just... We've only drawn three of them. We need action. Now we don't need that. Well, that's good. Okay, so I can get Lear back, or I could get back the three, four. Uh. Oh, they're both 3-4s. And this is only other tapped creatures, so let's get Lear back. Yeah, guess who hasn't gone away yet? And this also gives us another Revenge of the Drowned. And it also reduces the cost on the uh, Revival. Yeah, the Siege Zombie, that's a pretty good 2-drop. You can... Uh, chip away at your opponent's life total. There's a bit of a board stall. I have four guards in the graveyard. Stop it. Got all the organ orders. They're just kind of getting a little bit too much here. This distributes three counters. I could totally have a trick here. I don't think we can really play around a trick. And I think if I want something dead, well... I mean, there's the, there's the minus two thing, or there's that. Yep.
We just kind of got some of our stuff a little bit too late here. If they attack with everything, we're just dead. It's like he's listening to me. Yep, they just ended up recovering. But okay, okay. They recovered better than we could. Alright, so after loss, let's take a look at the deck again, see if there's anything else we could do differently. A small part of me thinks we could. Where's our path to the festival? Basic land. I just don't want to splash for just when we only have that as our fixing. Well, we also have... Okay, so we've got two mana fixers there. But what would I take out and what would I put in? I almost think I'd rather have a plummet in the deck than this. Like, we kind of top out at five. Or I could even just play 16 lands. That doesn't sound awful either. So for other small creatures, we've got Snarling Wolf or Bounding Wolf. If I'm going to go down to 16 lands, I think I'd rather play the Bounding Wolf so we're not... Path to the festival. Yeah, I can play the path instead of the 17th land. That might be okay. That could still accelerate us into these uh, five drops. And do I want the amalgam or... Now yeah, we'll go with the beefier guy. There's also jack-o'-lantern. Now we'll try this. Our deck's not that bad. It is not the greatest. We didn't get like any of those two mana green fight spells. That's what this deck really wanted with the uh, Leer. All right, we've got an opponent, and it is Kelvin 20. All right, Kelvin. We have a reasonable start. Okay, so yeah, Bait Hook Angler, basically, when it dies, you can cast it out of your graveyard for its disturb cost, and it's basically a storm crow. And I thought this card was a bit overhyped, being, you know, a storm crow. Why are you playing things on turn one? Oh, hey, we found our organ order. We're going to have issues here, though. If they, if they have, like, a stream of zombies, we're just going to... Okay, they don't have a stream of zombies. So that's not as bad. While I don't mind trading the Angler... I don't mind trading the Angler for that. Just get that out of here. And then we have... Could also Nebelgast Intruder at...
They are offering the trade. It's only one damage. I have I have other things that can kind of blanket soon enough. Okay, they didn't play anything. Which makes me concerned. So they could be holding up like a defense trade or something. I'm just gonna pass here. Because we have we have the uh Nebelgast intruder that can just eat this. Potentially eat this. Okay, they're going to try attacking. We're going to do this. Okay, yep, we just ate it. Well, that's cool. And that is why Devil Gas Intruder is good. Next, we can play Organ Hoarder. Sounds good. I mean, I'd say we could double these, but why would we do that? They're reviving the Champion of the Perished. Sure. Are they going to block our Angler? Am I okay with that? Or do I want to... I don't really want to pump it, because that would, that would be like my whole... Turn. Okay, and they weren't even going to do that. Okay. I'll just play an organ hoarder. Gee, I wonder what card I'm going to put in my hand. Uh, we need to land anyways for Lear. Paragraph horde. Okay, sure. Now that thing is becoming a problem. But I can also tap it down. Or, or keep it tapped with the, uh... Yeah, we're not gonna... Oh, I can also bounce it. Bouncing it sounds fun. But bouncing it doesn't let me... I definitely don't want to bounce that. I think we're gonna lock him away. And I can just play the Falcon Abomination and just go in the air. Now let's do that. Alright, so what do you have, opponent? I've got a three-turn clock in the air right now, just by itself. They have that. You don't have Coven anymore if you do that. Uh, don't have good blocks here, so I'll just take the four. Yeah, you sacrifice that stuff. Now you don't have Coven, so you don't make your things bigger. That is kind of a perfect draw here. So I think what we're going to do is just go with our flyer plan. And we'll play Lear. I can bounce that. That's a good card. It can progressively make your stuff bigger and get past board stalls and whatnot. Another Diagraph Horde. I mean, sure. You have another Diagraph Horde. Uh, yeah, that's going to get bigger. I'm going to make sure to bounce this before the end step. Do that after combat. Let's see. Oh, did you have to dis... Great, 2-2. Two, two. When you do exile up to 2 turns. You didn't have to exile your... Control 3 more. Yeah, that's going to get bounced. 
Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Do I put the counter on... I feel like I want to put it on Lear. And return the fading hope. Do I need to attack with Lear? Not really. They would have to block. So I suppose that's good. So they have to block Lear or it's lethal. And we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't gonna they weren't gonna be happy with that block, and then I could bounce their coven thing again. See, I told you our deck was fine. We just needed to draw creatures. All right, one and zero. Oh. Always looking for a winning record, so hopefully we get up there. But uh, we'll see. And waiting for an opponent again. I'm just gonna come up with like jokes for some of these cards. Like I, I don't I don't have much of anything yet. Alright, red G. a gold level. We have Path to the Festival. It's kind of a slow opening hand if that's our first play, but I really don't like mulliganing in Limited. This will get us our fourth land, which we can then play the Rejuvenator. Regain some lost health. Plus, we're on the play, so it might not be as bad. Jack-O-Lantern, that's going to be relevant against us, but not a ton I can do about it. Silver Bolt. Not relevant against our current hand, but a decent card. I would like to have picked up one or two of these. Bait Hook Angler. Not on time at all. Let's try and get them to use the uh, their thing. We're going to the Jack-O-Lantern. And we can interact with some of those. We gotta we gotta interact with background. Interact with that. Okay, yep, they're gonna use it right away. Which that's fine. That means they're not going to be exiling any of our better stuff. Vampire interloper. Don't be interloping me. I think what I wanna do though is play two things here. No reason to play our 3-4 yet into their entire open hand of removal. If they want to use Silver Bolt to kill one of these, is fine. And then Storm Crow can block the interloper. It's not called Storm Crow, it's called Hook Haunt Drifter. It's just a very fancy way of saying Storm Crow. I do really like these interlopers. In um, When they had the double feature draft with both... Um, both Crimson Vow and Midnight Hunt cards. They had the Interloper in there. And uh, I had a draft where I had a couple of them. And just... I don't have mana efficient plays here. Whatever. I do this. And I had like two of these in, in my deck. And they did so much work. They can't block, which is the only bad thing about it, but it's a 2-mana, two 2-1 two flyer. Pretty good rate. Okay, fine. I won't get it back. 
They're very anti-graveyard. Huh. That's a problem. I can play Leer and put a counter on it. That's seemingly a little bit risky, but I'm also not able to do much about their board state right now. I mean, a counter anywhere else, just it doesn't do anything, so... I guess if they can remove it, they can remove it. If they can remove it, I can also maybe get it back. Morning patrol. Good morning there. It's not the type of morning they have, but... Okay, bird admirer. That's what we needed. So with that... Homeboy over there has vigilance. Let's do that. I can play this and this. But I'd rather play the Bird Admirer and get myself a flyer. Okay, so we're going to do this. That'll give them a 2 1 flyer. Which is... That's not fine. get this back. I thought they were just going to sack that to get the, the thing. Oh, the tapper. I don't like the tapper. The trapper tapper. And we're just... I mean... Sneaky reach? Did you not realize? They realized. They realized. Gosh, they just have everything. And they can tap it down. So I kind of need to attack with this again. What can I do? Five. Best is to play Leer and then play that for free. Or for three. For free. Um, so I guess... I don't really have attacks there. Cancel. We're playing it for three. Which... Which Leer flashback am I... Paying for though. Okay. Confused me for a minute. The good news is their hand is empty. Well, they're, they're top decking, so. Oh, they have the tapper. They're gonna tap Lear. Okay. We gotta start blocking some stuff here. I know it gives them another flyer, but I'm gonna have another flyer too. Oh, I have another flyer. Okay, let's play this. Play this. Play this. We just play everything. There, we played everything. Uh, this can't block anything, so it may as well attack. Now, if they don't have anything to cast here, then we're going to be able to flip this into a 3-5. And I am entirely looking to... I mean, this can't even really attack. Okay, it can attack now. Alright, yeah, we're gonna kill a couple flying things here. We'll go to three. 
Oh, jeez. They had stuff. Plummet. Okay. Okay. That kills a fly. It actually, it kills two flyers. They don't know that it kills two flyers. And they can just tap. I'm going to go all out here. I have no reason not to. We're not dead. We're not actually dead. Okay, cool. Um, I want to kill this just to make sure it's dead. And I can plummet something. Yeah, see, plummet was a good thing to put in this deck. There's a lot of flyers in this format, especially these disturb creatures that like to come back and be fly Like, this can disturb, and it'll be a 2-2 with flying and death touch. But it doesn't matter, because I just kill it. That is not a uh, thing I can plummet. Unfortunately. That is. And now they don't have the tapper online. Okay, so that dies. That has menace. That's a forest. Which means it's going to turn to night and it's going to kill us. Swing for seven, they block, and then we die. We can't even swing here. Yeah, if I had a spell I could play, I would have I would have swung all out. But they could have blocked, and then we would have just died to the menace. Because this can tap creature. Chaplain of Alms, another thing with Disturb. We need a little bit more action. I mean, that is a little bit more action. They can tap two of our creatures now, one at the end of our turn, and then one during theirs. So we have to play this so we don't die to the menace thing. Because we don't want to die to the menace thing. We can't attack. They could get in for one here. Okay, they're going to go for it. I guess I could fix it so that they kill both of these. That becomes a 2-1 flyer. Okay. I have to block. Does it have... Oh, it has first strike too. Dang. I don't have to block that. No blocks. Screw you. I take one. I'd rather keep that as a 1-1. One, one. Ooh. Four. I have eight mana. They're dead. They're dead. I can put three plus and plus one counters on something twice. You're, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. No, you're dead. Go ahead, block. Submit two. Uh, put two on that. And one there. We're going to do it again. Good game. Very, very, very close. Whew. Way too close for comfort there. 
That was the card I was thinking of. Like, like if I get if I get the the two plus one plus one counters thing, we'll we'll just win on the spot. I didn't really need to kill his menace thing, but I wanted to kill it because it was mean. All right, two and one, not bad. Locked in the cemetery also would have been nice against that tapper. They tap their tapper, and we tap it permanently. All right, there's probably a lot less people doing these Midnight Hunt drafts, which might be why it's taking a while to get a uh, match going here. Plus, once you reach, like, Diamond tier, it, it can really take a while to find a match. Um, since Arena is trying to match us with someone around our own tier level, around our own um, win-loss record in this premiere event takes all those into consideration then it just kind of expands the search progressively and we have expanded our way to dr f oh yeah that seems reasonable i mean we need more lands but you know we've got fading hope we've got the angler we have things we can do they have evolved in wilds. I have a good guardian pet there. Yes, you. Oh, that's a good draw. I mean, I'd like another land, but it's good in the meantime. Okay, that's not good. Let's attack. Kill it. Okay, don't kill it. I'm going to bounce whatever they play here, just so I can get the... I can't bounce that. Uh, okay, island. Gotta land. Gotta land. We're, we're on. Falcon Abomination, take to the skies. I also really underrated this Falcon Abomination. Like, to me, it just looks like a Windrake. It gives you, like, a one-shot, another 2-2 two -two attacker. But they're, again, they just kind of generate a lot of value. And there's a lot of stuff in this set. I know we didn't draft a whole lot here. But there's a lot of stuff that uh, just wants to... Oh, this is cool. That just wants... Uh, wants to sacrifice stuff. I'm going to go ahead and attack in, because there's no reason not to attack into this board. And if they block, we have the intruder. They're not blocking. They're not blocking. Okay, so they're gonna take six. Problem is I don't have a thing to cast and it's gonna become night. I don't want it to become night. So, I'm gonna do this. Just get rid of their thing. So it'll either go on the top or bottom of their deck. It's opponent's choice, and we get a 2-2 with Decade. I just don't want it going to Knight here, because then they get another draw. Well, it's a loot effect. They'd get to loot, they'd gain a life off the Celestis, and then they would get this thing becomes a 3-3, and then it's a problem. Okay, that's fine. It's not really... I would have rather have used this stuff on that, but I just, I didn't want it turning to night there. So we were kind of in a tight spot. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have tried fading hoping, fading hoping it. That might have been better, and then I could have responded with the Nebel Ghast. Fangblade Brigand. Well, I can also revive my thing, which I am entirely going to do. I don't actually have an attack here. Wait a minute. Three plus one plus one counters. It won't kill that. I do have an attack here. I have a good attack here. Coming in. Opponent rightfully suspicious. And I'm just going to... Oh, it's target. I can get that back. 
I think I'm gonna take back the Falcon Abomination. They're they're getting low on life. So getting back another creature with flying, we're gonna keep the pressure on them. You know, that's that's just kind of a good limited strategy. Just be aggressive. Be aggressive when you when you're not sure what to do between different options, be take the most aggressive route. I mean, I suppose getting rid of their creature might have been decent, but this is a good creature. It also gains first strike with that. So we're going to have to watch for that. Let's see what they do. We're going to... Okay, they're going to attack, so I don't need to bounce it. Don't need to bounce it. I gotta have... You're not playing anything. Sure. You're not playing anything. They're gonna gain a life. That's like the part of this whole thing I, I dislike the most. Oh, a plummet. That might not be useful against their deck. But that's okay. That is okay. I could even cast two things here to go. I don't run. I don't want to force it back to day. They got rid of my. Okay, so they might just be flooded. Howl of the Hunt. We're gonna go ahead and uh, not do that. So that that nullifies their howl. They have to recast their creature. It's going to go back today, but you know what? It's going to be fine. We'll have to defend the Celestis. We're not going to have to defend the Celestis. Oh, we do have. To, I mean, we're not going to have the the abomination. We just have this one shot zombie, which that's fine. We still have the Neville Gast Intruder. We just haven't found a good spot for it yet. They have a uh, revival there. So you can give their thing plus one, plus oh, and first strike, which is the problem with trying to attack here, because it'd be four with first strike. I can't cast both these things, which is unfortunate. I don't want it turning to night. I don't really have good... I could return the... Fading Hope again. Because then I could Fading Hope and the Defend. I kind of want to play the Nebel Gas, but... A sixth land and we can play both those at the same time. So let's, let's just be mana efficient. I could grab Revenge. Revenge doesn't let us double spell, though. Yeah, let's just give this back. And we did cast a thing, so we don't have any attacks here. Okay, they double spelled. Uh, I gotta remember, that thing makes a mana, too. Dawnheart Mentor. That's annoying. I don't want to waste putting counters on this thing just to... Oh, that's bad. Where did all this crap come from? He just, like, spewed out three things there. Uh, no blocks. Okay, now... And you're putting it on the reach thing. You can attack with that. Attack with that and kill some things, but... I'd probably be more likely to want to... No, because that doesn't... Let's play our reach thing. No attacks. We're so close to closing this game out. Don't do things like that. I don't want it to become... 
How about I have a 3-5 now? And this is... Oh, you can pump the whole team with that with 5 mana. Or it can still get plus and plus 0 in first strike. Okay. We have the Nebelgast Intruder we can cast here. Trample and Daybound, okay. I can also bounce their thing. Wait, do I win? Not, not quite. I could hit them for six in the air. Is that quite going to be lethal? They're going to have lethal on us pretty soon if we don't do something. Oh, I can't even... That happens. Do I just play this? I feel like I gotta just play this. Oh, this is a good card. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, my other tapped creatures are about to gain death touch. Sure. So now everything and the untapped creatures have hexproof. Now I've got... That's got Death Touch, so that can come in. Oh, they just block with the 1-1. One, one. I mean, what else is it going to do? That can turn into a flyer, but I, I'm going to need the Fading Hope, I think. So I think we just go with those two. Oh, this is tough. They know we have Fading Hope. Yeah, let's just go with those two. Okay, they're going to take damage. We can hit him for six in the air next turn. Which, that's, that's the route I'm going with. Is we just have to survive this turn. And the only thing that has to survive is this. We have to Fading Hope this if it doesn't attack. Okay. I should be able to survive this, right? Oh, crap. They have... They have three mana. They can recast it. Darn it. They're attacking with it. Cool. So that's not what's going to get Fading Hoped here. Okay, that has Trample. That has... Syndrome of going back to the hand. And I'm also fine just trading... I'm fine just trading that. They're dead. They don't know it, but they're dead. Because they have no reach. And this... Oh, it's a, I, was, I miscounted. I miscounted, but they're still dead. Because I thought this was going to get six power. That's why, that's why I was saying we can hit them for six. No, we cannot hit them for six. Uh, whatever, you're dead. Yep, that's fine. Because you lost your reach thing. Submit one. You get three counters. You're dead. And sometimes the Nebelgrast Intruder doesn't really make use of the minus two, minus O. Oh. Yeah, I think I misplayed earlier. I should have tried the Fading Hope instead of the Drowned. And then he, he did the fight thing or whatever. Whatever. Whatever, we still got there. We got there. We're doing good. 
and into another match if we can find another match. While you're waiting for another match, take this time to like the video, comment, and most importantly, subscribe if you like the content of the channel. Uh, that way, you keep coming back. <laughs> Keep coming back. Keep enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying this. I, I enjoy the drafting process. Limited is always a unique environment, and, I, and I'm starting to like draft more than sealed. I used to just like sealed uh, because I wasn't very good at draft. But the more I've been drafting, the more I've been learning, uh, and the better I've been getting. I mean, I'd, I'd say we're... I'm a lot better now than like when I was doing like the Kaldheim drafts and, and whatnot. This looks good. I mean, we don't have anything special to do with that yet, but... Okay, opponent goes first and had to mulligan to six. We haven't seen like a lot of our bomb five drops. Ooh. I could potentially be really annoying to them. Not quite this turn. Silver bolt. Okay. Ooh, a farmer. I think we'll just give him something to silver bolt. Sure. If they don't silver bolt it, then I'll have an extra mana next turn. Or you can do that. That's that's fine too. Yep, you got it. You got it, Chief. I should play the island in the bait, but well. Fama. Or do I want to Bounding Wolf? Well, they have the mana open, so it's not really much of a trick. Just do this. And we get a land back. We, got, we milled a couple two drops. That's fine. We can mill the two drops because we want to find our big stuff. Yep, that's fine. They're just going to kill everything and just ping us to death, apparently. Apparently that is the plan. Uh, odds are they're not going to be able to cast a creature and pay three to flip, so we're going to play both the anglers here. And I will trade an angler for that. Okay, just like I thought. Now to enact our aggro plans. They try attacking, we can Bounding Wolf and block. We have done more damage to them than they've done. Interesting. I'm gonna just get back my bait hook angler. I'm gonna save it. I don't need to let them exile that. And we get a scry, so if there's land on top, it's going on the bottom. Do you have another response? Okay. I mean, they don't have any flyers yet. Attack me. This is like the best use for bounding wolf. And they have an ambush. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Fine. Okay, you got me. Well, we're going attacking. Okay, it's the traditional angler versus awakener showdown. Ooh, revival. What do I want to get back? Out of all this, not a ton, but we're going to play it for the sake of playing something. We're going to attack first, though. Okay, nothing is up. I'm just going to revive. Uh, let's get back. Bounding Wolf is the strongest. 
It's considered not really a good card, and yet it's it's okay. It's not bad. We have Revenge of the Drowned and Bounding Wolf up. Our opponent is, like, massively flooding out. Defenstrate their own. Okay. Yeah, because I could have played it, they could have killed it, I could have got it back again. <laughs> this, they just they didn't find their creatures. Maybe they didn't have enough, I don't know, but they, they seemed to find every non-creature they had. Uh, we're four and one. So that's already awesome. That means, worst case scenario, park on the roads. Not Cody roads, I don't want to park on Cody roads. That was good. Um, we will... We'll hang on to the Timberland Guide. So I think we'll play the Root Coil Creeper first into our Flyer. Go into the Jack-O-Lantern. Play with the vet. Oh, yeah, we can make their eyes close. How will play? Well, that's rude. That's a good card. Find that. Falcon Abomination. Go! Now that they see our this thing, since it can bring back things with flashback and exile, they might hang on to the jack o' lantern instead of cycling it for a card. Okay, never mind. They're gonna cycle it for a card. I don't know anything. I <laughs> bait hook angler. Hey, I got one of those. I feel like I just want to make. My 2-2... Two, two aggressive. Let's attack for 5. They want to trade their angler for my token. I'm fine with that. Or if they just want to take 2 damage. Fine with that as well. And I have an angler. They have a lot of cards still. I mean, we have two more on the field. We've only lost one. How, how are they... Eaten alive, okay. Fair enough. Oh, it's a storm crow. Uh, which means I can't attack with the Timberland Guide. At least not at this point. Oh, cool, I get a Storm Crow. Uh, I also get this thing. Okay, now I'm out of cards until we draw more gas. Well, while our opponent has a completely packed hand, they only killed two of our things. How... How did this happen? I'm very confused. Oh, Lear. Well, that's a good card. Poke you for one. Play this. I mean, we don't have any spells in the graveyard, but we don't have a graveyard. But when we do, it's going to be good. Well, that's not good. That is really bad. Bounding Wolf. That thing also has Menace. Odd is a big thing. Alright, last turn. I get this into a 3-5 at least. That might help. I don't know. It means if I double block here, they can only kill one thing? Do I even want to go for that? Lear's not really doing much right now. 
and I can't let that thing just hit me turn after turn. I, I'm walking into any... If they have a removal spell, I'm just walking right into it. Damage? Okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine. We have a card that can get Lear back. Don't tell me you're getting that back. No! <laughs> so bad. Oh, I have a Bounding Wolf. This, this, this Stormcrow is not killing our opponent fast enough. Uh, which is which is kind of my problem. Yeah, this is happening. I may as well play this. Eccentric Farmer. I may as well play this. Okay, we got a uh, we got some stuff there. Okay. Uh, can I? This is our only offense right now. I feel like we might just be taking seven here. Maybe if I could find our fading hope or our locked in the cemetery, either of those would be good here. Because this, they can get it back again. Four or five, they can get that back. Oh, jeez. And this would just kill all of it. Or I'm just dead in two turns. What are they? That puts me at... Wait, two, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Let's take the damage. I don't know what they have in their hand. That's not good. Organ Hoarder, find me something to fix this. Yeah, locked in the cemetery. I'll take it. At least keep that thing on lockdown. Okay. Six. I might need to play this land. Okay, they have things. We gotta go attacking here. We gotta keep the pressure on them. What's really nice is this thing is staying on the field, so they're not looping it. They're not doing any of this other silly nonsense. Okay. Well, they can loop that, but... I just don't want them looping that. Uh, do I have any? I can bring back the tireless hauler? They're gonna bring back the... They can bring back the hobbling zombie. That's the problem. Tireless Hauler might not even be big enough for this board. Yeah, it's also going to be kind of slow to get this stuff going here. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to take four. I don't want them getting it back either. Though I guess getting it back isn't as bad as other things. So let's see, three. Oh, but we'll lose our bird admirer. That's the real problem. I don't want to lose the bird admirer. This thing becomes a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. 
And then that's... Oh, well, no, they have that, too. No blocks. I don't know if that's right or not. Probably isn't, because we're not going into night right now. Unless for some reason they don't cast a spell, but I don't see that happening here. Okay. It's not the worst thing that could be happening. At least not right now. When it flips, it'll be a 3-4. Now they're deciding if they want to get this back. Which, yeah, they do. Okay. Oh no, they got back their Gale Drifter. Okay. I mean, I guess that's a thing you can do. Well, I don't want to kill that right now. I want to play the wolf and have mana open to do that. What can we get back? Oh, I could get back Plummet. That could help. Okay. We have a plan. We have a plan. I don't want to do that stuff right away. Well... I kind of need to get back Plummet so I can potentially just pass my turn and go into Night. Because they're not going to be putting it into Night, so... Actually, why do I need Plummet back when I can get Leer back? Because Leer gets me back Plummet. Yeah. We'll do it that way. Now we're really not going into Night, but whatever. We'll have Leer back. Four, five, six, seven. Ideally, we want to draw a land so we can give this thing Death Touch and kill that. Once and for all. Well, we can't take this. So, chump block. Well, I gotta cast something. Okay, they're casting Organ Hoarder. Everybody else has more Organ Hoarders than us. It's not fair. I want to hoard all the organs. Oh, this is bad. Now they have a Storm Crow. And they have a Gale Drifter. Defend the Celestis. Fascinating. Very fascinating. They don't have ways to kill our stuff. Um, I th think we just pass and go into night. They know we have Lear, but they, they know we wanted it to be night, because this is now a 3-5. And we can kill the Horde. We're not doing too bad here. As long as they have one unknown card. What else did they mill, by the way? Okay. Okay, two attackers. Just him? Block. I mean, I gotta gotta do this. I could just make this bigger. Falcon Abomination. I'm gonna have to play this. Cause they're getting they're getting big in the air. And it's gonna go back to day. So I'm gonna put a counter on this. And two on that. Well, 
Or, maybe I put one on the organ hoarder too, so it can block these guys comfortably. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, we knew that was going to happen. But now we have a plummet. And we're hanging on here. We can't go attacking, though. They just have... Their board is too wide right now. They could almost just swing out here. We would block, block, have to block two of the flyers, plummet another one. They'd hit us for three. I can also make it night next turn. Uh, they're considering it. Honestly, if their their hand if their if the card they drew was like a land or, or something, that would be best for us. And if they decide to attack all out here, we take three, we go to two, but we kill a good portion of their board. Now I think we want to plummet. The Gale Drifter. I just want to make sure we're using our mana. Like, I know they can get it back. Okay. That's not helpful. The real problem is I don't think we have attacks here. And if I double spell, it's going to go back to day. So I don't really want to do that. I don't want to keep drawing lands either. Do I have an attack here? I really don't think I do. Which kind of makes that plummet a little pointless. I should have plummeted that guy if I wasn't going to attack. I can't... Because the two flyers block. I can't possibly attack here. That's the that's the biggest problem. Well then I should have played the path to the festival. I know we have defend the Celestis. Oh, please don't have a kill spell. That'll ruin us. They have a kill spell. And it ruined us. Yeah, blue-black is just very, very resilient in this format. I think we're just dead now, aren't we? I mean, we can't defend the Celestis if we don't have enough Celestis to defend. Okay, here we go. Decayed things are dying. Fast blockers, I think that does just kill us. We should have. Well, we block there. We gotta block one of those. No, no, we go to one. We're at one. Okay. Three, seven, eight, nine. Man, if we can get rid of that, we could actually have lethal on them. I'm going to play this now because it doesn't matter. Just pump everything. Dang it. I should have cast this. Then maybe I wouldn't have drawn a land. 
5, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, that's 12. I'd have to swing with everything. Even if I had just pumped the two ground guys, they would still have to do that. They have that. I only have path. Cast cast with the cheaper flashback. I should have done that so that we could draw something. We have not drawn our sludge monster once yet. I guess we go for it. And maybe they don't see it. That's the only way. Darn, I can't believe they saw that. <laughs> oh, well. I'll let him attack in and finish me. Yep, I couldn't block both those flyers. Perhaps the only other thing I could have done differently was be slightly more aggressive at a couple of points. That would have been risky. And just gotten in more damage that way. I don't know. I'd like to see more of our five mana cards when we have the mana, not, not just be stuck on two lands and then boom, here's all the five mana cards. Like, our sludge monster would have been really good there. Just sludging everything up. Our give everything that's tapped death touch would also be good there. Foolish Max. I'm going to keep... It's risky, but I hate mulliganing on the play. Okay, Arena, this is what I said not to do, right? Don't give me all this stuff and no lands to play them. Okay, thank you. Island, island. That thing can't block, so I don't care about it. That means we're going to be aggressive. We're up against blue-black again, because of course we are. Okay, another island next turn. I'll be happy. I'm not blocking that. Now, lose all abilities. Does that also count for... Okay, it's Defend the Celestis. The card we can play if we want to. I don't think we want to right now. We're going to attack in. Yes. Yes. We're going to we're going to blow them out here. They think they're blowing us out, but in reality, we're blowing them. That sounded really bad. Let's do it like this so we have a bigger flyer. I mean, this is totally a target for removal, but it was going to be after that. They're killing it. Don't kill it. No, do not do it. Oh, they have the sacrifice thing. Eating Alive is such a good card. And now what do I have to do? Sacrifice is a non-land. Oh, that's going to happen at their upkeep. Well, I'm going to sacrifice this thing. Oh, uh, we're going to play Leer. They don't have any monsters to sludgeify, so... We'll play Leer. We have the... Okay. Everything has traded and died. No! That's gross. That's really gross. We were doing fine until that happened. Because we still have the sludge monster. 
Now we don't have the sludge monster. Okay, well, they're not attacking. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Thin the land out. I'm really upset. We finally found the sludge monster. Really? I didn't know anybody played that card. Apparently they do, and apparently it's useful. I need the dryad thing to bring stuff back. That'll do. For now. It's a 4-5 with vigilance. Big chunky thing. A two-turn clock. Do not have stuff for them. They have a 2-2 two -two with death touch. Black is just so strong in this. Can't afford to attack. We have nine lands to their... Okay, they've got seven. Oh, that discard spell is so good. It shouldn't be that good, but... Dang. They, they use it in the perfect way. Finish off your opponent's hand. They got rid of my... I'm not getting my sludge monster now. I'm rather upset about this. Hey, we can go attacking now. Yeah, I got one of these, too. I think we just lose now. Three, six. Yeah, we're just dead. Man. Things were going well for us. We were starting to come back. But I guess I can't be too upset. We did get... Oh, well, there's three rares. Three rares, four rares, five rares. One of them was a mythic. And we technically only lost 100 gems and got all this other stuff, too. Deck was pretty decent. Could have used a little bit more interaction. It really wanted the green two mana fight spell. Oh, that would have been great. But we had a lot of decent cards in the deck. The uh, Abomination, Devil Gast Intruder, Bait Hook Anglers. They were all workhorses in the deck. Um, Timberland Guide, maybe not the greatest. Organ Hoarder. Yeah. Uh, Defend the Celestis really kind of impressed me. So I know we passed um, a second one of those earlier. Or we didn't take the first one. We took the second one. Um, yeah, that card kind of impressed me. We never even drew this card. We never got to be burly. We never got to be slimy. That was sad. But beyond not playing a couple of our cards in the deck. Deck went well. We got 1,400 gems. We got three packs. We got four wins. So for now, I'll take my leave.